this has a different definition sure. of hitting it big. Sure. And it takes a different form. So I want you to visualize whatever that means for you. Done. Got it. And then tell me what are the tail ender pieces of resistance <laughs> and <laughs> ah, and yes, but <laughs> just a second that are coming up. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. The one of those tail ender resistant pieces that rears its head is privacy. <laughs> and it's not about, I mean, I am all about, oh, you want a shot? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually not. not for breakfast? Yeah, I'm not all about that, actually. No. I really do value privacy on a specific level. We all have our definition of what that means. Yeah. For me, the privacy is this. I had a locked-in belief, mm -hmm. and it wasn't mine. Mm. Hello? Okay, so I was private. I was like, you know, no, I don't want to give this away. Right. That's my special treasure. What if someone steals it? Mm -hmm. Right? Or, um, no, I, I can't possibly tell that and reveal a little bit. That'll give too much um, of me away. And what if someone critiques me? Mm -hmm. What if they criticize me? So, for me, it was holding guard of that. Mm -hmm. And I realized that came from a family lineage. Mm -hmm. It didn't come from me as a, because I'm a very out there, extroverted person. Yeah. It, it seemed incongruent yes. that I was private. Yes. So for me, if I look into the future and I see it, for the niggling piece of it was, well, then I'll be seen. And all of the stuff that I've worked on will be seen. You know what's funny? Mm. Is it doesn't make sense. No. Because that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually doing this so people can move forward. Yeah. And yet in my mind, I went, oh, but I don't. And that's how I knew it wasn't my own. Yeah. And sometimes if you look back, it maybe was your um, dad's sort of belief. Yeah or your mom's, or your grandmother's, or your grandfather's, somebody in your life, maybe it was your very close friend that had a real impact on you, but it was their belief that translated to you, mm -hmm. and you began to believe it, uh, for no reason. Mm -hmm. And it, it may feel, um, because people who have that belief of, um, we don't want people knowing our business, yeah. and things are meant to be kept private, mm -hmm. at the root of that is shame. Mm. At the root of that is because if they know about us, mm. then they can judge us, then they can criticize us, and really maybe we're not enough anyway, and they'll figure that out, yeah. and now I'm feeling embarrassed, and now I'm feeling ashamed. If you have secrets. Yeah. And even if you just, what's at the root of somebody who doesn't want people to see them and know who they are? What, what is underlying that fear of saying, we don't tell people our business. Right. We're a private family. Right. What's underneath that? I think there's lack. Absolutely. I think there's inauthenticity. Yeah. I think there's that, because if they really knew how insecure we were and how yeah. noxious we, like right now we can, we can pretend, we can sure. keep off our facade. But part of stepping into your magnificence oh, yeah. and stepping into your expression of yourself on this planet is being authentic and okay with the gifts you've been given and that the gift you have been given could be freedom for someone else exactly so you you wouldn't want to lock that in mm -hmm. but it's a real interesting um it, it was just a very interesting thing for me mm -hmm. that one level of privacy mm -hmm. there are a few more but that was one of them and so how did you break that family hold about we don't tell people who we are. We don't share our I dirty just laundry in public. It we don't. Mm. You know, Awareness. this is why it doesn't always hurt. Yeah. You don't need to end up on the couch one day when I was seven. Like you know, you know, you know <laughs> like you're not. You don't need to go there. Yeah. You just need to go. Oh, I see you. 
Yes. Sometimes I see you and I see what you're doing to me. I read in your mail and you just see it. Speak it out. Oh, that's you. And I saw you here, 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 yes. and there, and oh, and there, and you're gone. I've got to change that. Literally. Mm -hmm. It's just a perspective shift. But that's spirituality. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't need to be this, you know, processing and internal, ooh, plumbing the depths. It just needs yeah. to be. But this also comes from a personal experiences of being put in a situation where people were judging me and criticizing me. And that hurt. Yeah. And then you, and then, so your light dims. Yes. That's a big we spider. We are. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I killed a spider again because I don't like them. <laughs> Sorry. You better be Look dead. I'm not suffering so. down there. No, it's no cheese. <laughs> Bottom of my shoe. <laughs> Look at that! I just, I just took my shoe off. This <laughs> anyway, back to not letting yourself be seen as the true spider killer, destroyer of nature that you really are. Well, I mean, where did that come from? I don't know, but at least it didn't drop on your hair. <laughs> I, I don't like spiders, and so this is. My space. <laughs> so when in Rome, do as Romans. <laughs> no, you know, the, I, I believe that part of living in a spiritual place mm. is just identifying something like that. And it's just, it's sort of like what I call an aha moment, mm -hmm. but it's gone, it's, on steroids and the light bulb burns out. It's like so powerful that there's no, the light just explodes the light. Mm -hmm. You just go, oh, but it doesn't need to carry with it all of the, the things that we think it's supposed to carry. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to. If you come at it with, um, I'm enough and uh, I didn't see you, but now I do. Mm -hmm. So out you go. Mm -hmm. Well, then where's the power? Mm -hmm. You just neutralize it. Mm-hmm.